installment of my Saver Splurge. I've only done this once before, which I will link below for you if you're interested. And this is just a video where I will talk about some items. Um, I, you know, I do kind of product updates or my total rehaul videos, but I... I generally wait for a few months after I've done those. Well, so if there are some items that maybe are limited edition or that kind of thing, I might throw that in a saver splurge or maybe just something I'm so excited about talking to you about, I want to put that in there. So that's what we're doing today. I'm very, very talking with my hands today. All right, so let's get into it. And these things were, I kind of alluded to these, they were, some of these I would have had, had in my favorites, but I wanted to save for this video. So the very first thing is the Marc Jacobs it's the, I'll, I'll give you the full name, I wrote it down because it's long. The Skyliner 7-Piece Petite Highliner Collection. Good gravy. So here's the situation. This has seven high, um, eyeliners in it. It sells for $45 from Sephora. I believe that's the only place that you can get it. It is currently out of stock, but I know that it's come in and gone out and kind of gone out. So it comes in this, it's a plastic little case, and then these fit tight in here. Um, I, I actually really like that. I Normally I would take something like this out and just use the liners, but I think this might be something nice when I'm traveling, because mostly I'm traveling by car, to just throw in my bag. But anyway. Okay, so there are the colors, and I'm going to swatch them on my hand for you. Alright, so here are the swatches. Of course, getting bigger to smaller. Because <laughs> that's how it works with me. So this is Blacker Plumage. That's the way they cut it. They have a lot of their names like in parentheses, like Plum, and then in parentheses, A-G-E. And Midnight in Paris, Think, like T-H, Ink. Sunset, Overt, and then Brownout. So of those shades, all of them are permanent, aside from the Midnight in Paris, which is this third one up here, and then Sunset. Those are not part of the permanent collection, at least not that I could find on Sephora. So again, this sells for um, $45. If you buy just a single shade from them, it sells for $25. So just kind of a, and obviously it's a larger size, but um, these are fantastic. They last in the waterline like no other liner I have ever put in my waterline. And I'm going to talk about another liner here in a minute for you. But um, I will have... I. You guys know I frequently am putting my makeup on at 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning so that I can film and I don't get home until 5.30 at night and aside from inner corner wear, which I, I expect a lot of times because I'm doing this all day long, <laughs> like I can't stop myself, I don't know why. I'm always afraid of the eye gunk. But anyway, so inner corner and very outer, I'm just looking so I don't poke myself in that, you know, kind of outer corner. I'll have a little bit of wear, but that does not happen for at least eight hours. I'm so impressed with these. I've purchased one as a gift for somebody. They are out of stock currently on Sephora's site. I know that you can, I think you can email for when they'll be back in stock, but if you can get your hands on one, I know that they are in store because a friend of mine picked one up for me. Um, so anyway really really good if you see this go ahead and grab it up but you know again I think that it would be well worth to buy just the one liner I would absolutely hands down buy the you know the full size of the black as well as the brown and of these I should mention um, most of them are kind of matte the midnight in Paris one has a little bit of shimmer to it and the brown out also has some shimmer to it as well I'm not sure you'll be able to see that um, this bronze is gorgeous in the lower lash line. Really, really like that. Well worth, well worth the cost in my opinion. Okay, so so that's a splurge, <laughs> or the line. No, just the single liners. Not necessarily this kit if you're not able to find it. But I think buying the single liner well worth the twenty five dollars. Okay, this one I'm actually a little bit torn on. I think it could be a save or a splurge, so I'm not sure how helpful this particular one will be. But this is the Hourglass 1.5 millimeter Mechanical Gel Eyeliner. So this has this teeny tiny point on it. I've used mine up just the other day, actually. And this sells for $16 singly, or you can buy a pack of three of them for $45. So you save yourself about $3 there. There's 0 .002 ounces in this. In the in con, in comparison, like a full size of the Marc Jacobs has 0 .01 ounce, and that's $25 worth. This is 16. Now, 
This is very nice for getting up in your in between your lashes if you are wanting to not so much line your upper waterline but really tight line at your lower lash line edge or at your excuse me upper lash line. Um, you can also certainly just tight line your waterline and your lower line. It works very well, very very well. So I, I truly think this is a it's a great product, but save save your money. That is my opinion on it. I again. It works well. It doesn't transfer. Neither one of the Marc Jacobs or this liner. I can do my upper lash line and as long as I wait just like 30 seconds before I blink, I won't have any transfer to my lower lash line. And I've talked about that before, how that's really hard to find with the black. I feel like for some reason something in the black pigment is tricky to make it not transfer. But so I would say this is a save your money. I like it. It's a great product, but I think you get more for your money with the Marc Jacobs liner. Just my opinion. All right, the next thing that I want to talk about is a palette I've used so much this month, and that is the Becca Ombre Nudes Palette. So this sells for $40. I believe this is a permanent palette. I don't think this was, was for um, the holidays. So it's out of stock currently, of course, because I'm talking about it. <laughs> it's just the way it goes. And it has these shades here that are just your neutral tones. I feel like they lean more warm. You guys can take a look there. I have worn this so much. It sells for $40. And I know the questions that I'm going to get are compare, you know, how does it compare to I'm gonna to try to hold these up here. The the naked twos and or the excuse me, the naked basic and then the nasic two then the naked two basic. So I just kind of will show you there. So here's the difference. There, there are, there's a darker, more, you know, black or this, you know, deep, deep gray taupe here in, in the Naked Basics palettes. I, I feel like I really do like these and I still recommend them. I still think that these are great palettes. I feel like this, these mattes build on each other much better than any other mattes. So if you're wanting to do, um, a just a, a full matte color or full matte look excuse me this is a really great palette to do that with because they build up so well on each other the only thing that I don't like about this is that this shade right here is just a little bit too peachy I prefer something a little more vanilla so to speak so I just throw in like Blanc type or something with that but these I, they build so well on each other and I, I will, I'm going to tell you quickly kind of the go-to look that I've done. So I have either used this shade right here, which is number one. They're just list, they're just numbered one through five. I just had to pause because the plow was coming through. I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear that or not, but good gravy. So they are labeled one through five. So I will take one on um, just like a lay down brush, a fluffier sort of lay dust brush. This is my Smashbox number seven, I believe. Yes, number seven. And then on a really fluffy brush, and this is the Sephora Pro Crease brush, not the Taper Pro Crease brush. I will go in with this shade right here and really kind of just carve out my crease, so to speak, with that and in my transition color with that. And then I'll go in with the pointed taper. You certainly don't need to do this. I'm just telling you what I do. This is the number 19 from Sephora, so it's a little more paint tapered and a little more dense. And I kind of mix these two together here, go into the crease and build up the color a little bit. And then the last thing I do is take, uh, this is a Sigma something, the number is rubbed off, but like a MAC 226, a little more pointed, a little more dense. And I go in with that darkest shade right there and I just add that in. Then I go back with the fluffiest one and I blend that all out. Really, really like this. I, I feel like this is worth the money. Not only can you use it on its own, but you can also use it, you know, in conjunction with your single shades. That's one of the things I like about the Naked Basics palettes as well. So um, I realized that th these are, this is $29, I believe, and then this is $40, but I really think it's worth the splurge because of the quality of the product and how well the mats build on top of themselves. All right, lastly, and I, if I look different, I just can't win. My battery was dying, <laughs> so I had to plug in my camera. I mean, really. Okay, the last thing that I have is the NARS Creamy Concealer, or Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have the color in vanilla, and I've worked with this a bunch, and 
I say save your money. I do not think this is worth the splurge. This is $29 for 0.22 ounces. Though my my what has become my holy grail under eye concealer is the MAC Pro Longwear, which sells $20 for 0.3 ounces. So there's more product, less money. And I think it works so much better. Now I have drier under eyes and I don't know. I have tried to apply this so many The best ways. application that I have found with it is either with a Sigma F86 or any sort of tapered kind of brush like this that will pick up any extra product because no matter how little you put down, there just always seems to be extra product. Or with a damp beauty blender. That's the way that I've gotten the best application. But even with that, I still have to go back at least a couple of times and get it out of my fine lines and wrinkles beneath my eyes. And I don't have to do that with my Pro Longwear. I do, I will say that it lasts a long time. I feel like it, it doesn't dissipate, you know, throughout the day. Neither does my Mac. So for me, I feel like I like this application better though than as far as it being doe foot versus the Mac Pro Longwear being in, in a pump. But that's not enough for me to spend $29 on it. So I say, for me, and I know that this will not be a popular opinion because most people love this product, but for me with my drier under eyes, and, and they are, like again, they are in a really good condition right now, but this just doesn't make them look good. And I do know I'm not alone in this, but I do feel like I'm in the minority, so just my opinion. And you know, I think that that probably works really well for younger skin, maybe a little bit more oily. I, that's this is just my perspective for me. Okay, so I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. On my face today, I, as I said, I have the Becca Ombre Nudes Palette on my eyes, and that's all I have on my eyes. For liner today, I did use the one, um, the Marc Jacobs liner in Think, and I have that upper lash line and upper water line. And then on my lips today, I have one of the Bite Beauty lip pencils, and this is the one in pomegranate. So it looks like that. And it looks like that on my lips. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're having a great day, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!